From time to time, you hear Steve Peasley talking about portfolio checkups in locations in the San Francisco Bay Area, Los Angeles, and Orange County, and that kind of leaves you out if you live in Orange County, Florida. Well, don't feel left out. If you would like to take Steve up on his offer to look over your portfolio and give you a health scan, it can be done on the phone. You can send copies of your documents by fax, email, or regular mail and join Steve for a one-on-one conference call. If you're interested, just go to investtalk.com or call our 24-hour InvestTalk answer line at 888-99-CHART. That's 888-992-4278. And thanks for listening to InvestTalk. Welcome to Invest Talk, one hour to help you have a more comfortable retirement. The rally we've enjoyed lately could be running out of steam. Well, that's what some are thinking. But we're going to take a closer look today at the vital signs of today's market. That's just one topic on the table. Our talking point has the Dow seen its top. You're welcome to call and comment, ask a question, stay with us and join in the discussion. This is Invest Talk, dedicated to the idea that you can do better than the average investor. Now here's your host, Money Manager Steve Peasley. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Friday edition of Invest Talk. I really appreciate you being with us today. And we have a special guest, uh, our founder, one of our the, the, the co-founder at least. Uh, of KPP Financial, uh, Jerry Klein is with us today. Been doing this for many, many years, and he's going to help us out with all the questions. Jerry, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm delighted to be here, Steve, and, and I look forward to answering the questions. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, we've all been watching the economy with a microscope. Everybody's watching every wiggle of the economy. Everybody's watching every wiggle of the stock market. And I hear a lot of people are waiting and expecting a pullback, and even I've said that. We should have one. But there are still millions of investors that are still on the sidelines on a wait-and-see basis. They want to be sure that the economy is on track and the stock market's not going to crash. That does not happen ever to be sure of anything in the stock market. Joey, have you ever had that? No, sir. The no. only time you ever have it is when it's the top of the market. Yeah, yeah. That when everybody is so positive, that's when the market actually starts to fall. That's right. So it's actually good that a lot of people are waiting for a pullback. That we we probably will have one. I'm not even saying we're not going to have one, but if everybody's waiting for one, then that means people have prepared themselves for it. Meaning they have money that they've taken out of the market. I would think. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to be a hundred percent out of the market. No, no. Yeah, you can you can have some uh, some cash on this island still be invested quite a bit. You still, and that's probably a smarter way to play this, I think. But we'll never know. We'll only know in hindsight. Now the problem is that if again, if they're looking for everything to be certain, it's not going to happen. And you know their their portfolios are so damaged from last year. They're sitting on cash. They're never going to recover unless they do something. They're, they're, they're the ones who are going to get in right at the top of the market. Mm-hmm. You can't, As usual. That's normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> normal. Don't do, you who are listening to us right now, don't do that, please. Please don't do that. Boy, have I seen that happen. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Either stay out of the market completely and just do CDs or something else and don't ever get in the market. Or buy when everybody else is selling. When everybody else is nervous, you buy. Now, are you a fence hitter? Well, if you are, maybe it will help if you come tomorrow to tomorrow's uh, conference in La Jolla. Saturday morning, 9 to 12, we call it the, uh, the, uh, our Invest Talk Wealth Conference. If you're new to the program, we do these conferences regularly. And these, are, these really are centered on education. I'm not trying, we don't try to sell stuff. Jerry, do we try to sell stuff on this? Not conference? ever. No, we're no, no. The, the biggest thing we try to do is teach you how to do it. Yeah, and see, I, I don't think we're doing this just uh, uh, solely out of the kindness of our hearts. No, we have no, a plan. <laughs> our plan is we're going to show you if you have the time and you have the ex- interest, you can do it. But that means you have to have a lot of time. <laughs> and we're going to show you what happens is, is we demonstrate what it takes, what it takes to be successful. What we go through. I mean, that's basically what we go through. That's right. 
And it's so time consuming that our, hopefully you, if you don't want to do it, we'll do it for you. That's what we do. We manage people's portfolios for them. But we really, the conference is a teaching conference. It's three hours. We'll provide all kinds of handouts. Where we give you a continental breakfast and drinks and a cookie break and more drinks and uh, an ability to ask any questions you want, the ability to uh, look at any stocks that you have your eye on, you want us to analyze it for you, we'll analyze it right in front of you. You'll ha we'll, ha we'll have a charting lesson there. We'll also tell you something that's going on about the economy. What are we looking at in housing, consumers, uh, pay payroll, uh, the statistics, some of the statistics, just what's going on. And where should we invest from here? Where should we invest? Okay. Uh, some nice gifts, too. Yeah, we got some stuff we're going to give mm -hmm. away. We give away some books. Yeah. It's really kind of an interesting and I think enjoyable for most people to have any kind of interest. It's educational and interesting. Hopefully, you'll be there tomorrow. To sign up, all you do is go to investtalk.com. Investtalk.com. You can sign up there or call 888-99-CHART and call that number right now and... Uh, just uh, tell us if you're going to make it and how many people are coming with you. It's $45 per person. Uh, that's what the cost is. And we hope to see you there tomorrow, 9 to, 12, 9 to 12, in La Jolla at the Sheraton Hotel, right off the freeway. So let's see if we can see it. That would be great if we see you there. It's called The Route to Recovery. That's in the title of this conference. Three hours. Tomorrow morning. Uh, now. Today, what happened in the market? Well, we had a pretty strong pullback, and it was a it was a bad report from the consumer sentiment. Uh, you know, it was it, it was lower than last month when everybody expected it to be higher. You know, you can't have the consumers being too positive when jobs are still scarce and your house value is still going down. How how are you going to have consumers positive? They're just not. Uh, uh, Jerry, I don't see how that can be. No. I don't know if it really matters though. Does it really? I mean, of course, the consumer is saving money and not spending. But you know what? The cars for clunkers, they're buying cars. I don't know if that's such a good that's idea. That's a pretty good program, actually, I think. I, mean, I, I don't know. Uh, don't but you think? you know what it's going to do? It's, it's killing the used car dealers. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Well, the good thing is they destroy those old cars. That's right. They do destroy them. Anyways, what, you know, the market fell sharply today and stayed down almost all day, and it did end up down for the day, but it did make a little bit of comeback you know, at the end of the day. I think the Dow was down 80, 90 points by the end of the day. I guess it down 76, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I, mean, I don't really get bogged down in the, the details of these things. It was just down. Okay, mm -hmm. we had our first down week in like four or five weeks. So this has been the first week that it's been down, which was, uh, you know, you can't complain about that. You can't have it up. The market doesn't go up forever, What's and it doesn't go down forever. What's my famous quote, Steve? Ne the, 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 no tree grows to the sky. Right you are. So it can't go up forever. It just can't. And you know what? If it takes a breather, that's a buying opportunity, in my personal opinion. So it was down, it was down today, down for the week, down about 1% for the week. Okay. Now, our talking point today is, has the Dow hit a top? H has it? Is it topping? Is it ready to roll over? What do you think, Jerry? What's your opinion? I think that, that the Dow, um, that, that there's going to be a rotation out of the real speculative stocks into solid.